Hello. Today is a fun one. Okay, today what I thought we would do is my kids love Bluey. I don't know if you if you've watched a lot of Bluey. Bluey is amazing. I love that show. Okay, and the, those guys, the Bluey guys won an Emmy yesterday, like a really big award. That's really cool. Um, anyway, today what I thought we would do is that we would draw Bluey. Now, we're not just drawing Bluey because uh, I don't, I don't, I've never drawn Bluey before. Okay, so the idea is not that I'm going to teach you how to draw Bluey because I don't know how to draw Bluey. What I'm going to show you is how I work out how to draw a character. How I copy a character, okay, because that's how you learn. And the way that I learnt to draw was from doing this as a kid all the time. Copying characters that I liked. Okay, so, you might find that there's a character that you like, it could be Bluey, it could be Spider-Man, um, and you decide that you want to learn how to draw them. Well, you can do that just by copying. And there's a certain way that you can do it, or there's a certain way that I always did it. And so I want to show you that. So I'm going to show you how I learn how to draw Bluey. I've never drawn Bluey before in my life. Okay, so what I've got is I went to the internet, the internet, and printed out a picture of Bluey. Okay, I'm going to copy this picture of Bluey. I've got Bluey here, I've got my blank piece of paper here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and draw Bluey by copying this Bluey. And I'm going to show you how I do that so that you can do it either with me by copying me and by copying Bluey or by copying another character that you choose. Excellent. All right, let's go. So the first thing that I would do is try and get the shape right. Okay, and this is where we're not trying to, we're not trying to draw any kind of neat lines. You're trying to kind of feel and find the shape. And I don't know if I'm going to get this, right? This is not going to be perfect. I've never drawn Bluey before. Okay. But first of all, you're trying to find the shape. Okay. So there's that shape there. This is going to be the kind of shape of the body. And then because, because Bluey's face forward, I'm going to put a line kind of down the middle of her so that I can find the center of her most of the time. Okay. Because then the ears look like they're kind of roughly centered. One triangle, another triangle, okay? <clears throat> now, everything in Bluey's face seems to happen from about halfway up, okay? So let's get a halfway line across there. And then, Bluey's legs, how long are they? To about here. Okay, so, and they come in a little bit from there, so there's one that's going to be there, just off the center, and another there, and then the, her feet kind of come out from there like that. Okay, let's get the arms. The arms seem to come in off the center line, see? If there's a line there, which is this line, the lines, the arms come off there. So let's get that angle in there like that. And then her hands are going to kind of sit in there. One, two, three, and the thumb. One, two, three, and the thumb. And then her tail will come out here, something like that. Okay, so now let's see if we can get <coughs> her face in. Now, her face is a little bit tricky because the nose is not actually in the center of the face. See that? Uh, so let's start with this eye. This to me feels like the dominant kind of shape. So you're always kind of looking for the kind of dominant shape and obviously notice that the um, her eye is not perfectly round. So let's get that one in. And then this line comes off here about kind of just above halfway. And then down. And then bottom of her snout there is going to hit that center line okay and then this line, this eye pops in behind she's such a great character and then that triangle of the nose 
So it's about there. And then the eyebrows are these great floating eyebrows up here. These floating jelly beans. Like that. Get a shape in there. Shape in there. That line. That line. That line. And that line. down and around there like that then she's got this see this shape comes up off the legs so it starts on that side all of cartoon characters are made of shapes right and what you're looking for is how do you connect the shapes because as soon as you can work out how to connect the shape to something else then you can put it in the right spot and try to connect it wherever you can okay so now I've got my kind of shape shapes for bluey and my outline and my positions of things and to me that looks pretty good okay so now <clears throat> i get my texter and let's see how this goes so i will start with her eye and now you're trying to get a smooth line if you can which is a lot easier to do because you're working over the top of a shape you've already drawn. Okay. Let's get that nose in. And she's got that little shape up there, which is just the highlight. her shiny nose because she's a dog okay let's get this line in like that now when I was when I was learning to draw as a kid this is what I used to do all the time with all sorts of different characters. And I encourage you to do the same. TV show characters, that's a great thing about the internet, right? You can get a you can get an image pretty quickly of any character that you like, and that will give you something to copy. And when you're copying it, you're not just copying it, you're learning kind of how that character has been built. One jelly bean. I love these moments as the character starts to kind of come to life. And you have these kind of moments as you're drawing of like, oh, I think I got it. I think I've got the character. Or you get a moment that's like, oh, no, I've missed it somewhere. And most of the time, when you're, when you're trying to work out like you've done a drawing of a character and it doesn't quite look right, nearly every time the reason for that is that something is not quite in the right spot. And when you're drawing, it doesn't feel necessarily like that's going to be important. Like, why does it matter if it's in exactly the right spot? But you'd be amazed at how much things look like themselves because they're in the right spot. And so getting things in the right spot in all of drawing is actually incredibly um, important to making it look like the thing you want it to look like. Yeah. 
So have a go drawing Bluey today or any other character that you like and try and think about them in terms of their shapes. Remember all cartoon characters are made up of shapes. Here we go. Is that it? We got it? Put other shadow around the bottom there. And of course you might like to colour yours in if you can. Go and see if you've got some colours that match these colours and colour yours in. So there we go. There's Bluey. Uh, you can do that, that process, with any character in the world. Batman, my Little Pony, whatever you like. It's the same idea, you're looking for shapes and how to build them. And most of the time when you draw it, you won't get it right. Or you might, might not be totally happy with what you've done. But you just do it over and over again. And when you start to learn how these characters are built and draw them from different angles, you'll find that you can now kind of draw the character pretty fast. And that's always a really cool thing to be able to do for your friends too. All right guys, have a great day today. And uh, I will see you back here tomorrow. See ya.